Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for June 5th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Photomat by Bill Murphy. This is a difference pair Sudoku. We have normal Sudoku rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some clues in the grid. All of the clues are white dots between two cells, and all of the clues in this puzzle contain a three. And what they're telling us is that the digits in the cells have a difference of. And that's it. Those are the rules. Um, no negative constraint. There could be other pairs of digits, say these, that differ by three. Um, we just have to use the information that Bill gets. So we're going to start with these triples here. Um, there are three sets of digits that are related. Uh, the differences of, and those are 1, 4, 7, 2, 5, 8, and 6, 9. Um, if you look down at the number pad on your keyboard, uh, you will see these actually vertically. You'll see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 horizontally. I've turned it on its side. Um, but in each of these rows here, the difference is 3 between each pair of digits. And so if we have a triple like this, it's going to have to be one of these three triples. Um, if you've solved any modular lines puzzles, these groupings will be familiar from that as well. Um, obviously, a difference of three is not going to change the remainder with respect to three. So same groups. So what we can do with these is consider which of the three triples this can be. It can't be 147, it can't be 258. So it is 369. The six will always go in the middle, but we can actually do better because there's a three here we can resolve the ordering. All right, this one down here can't be 258 or 147. So again, 369, this time we have a nine here and three here. Um, these two aren't as forced yet. Um, let's see if we can figure out what they are though. Can't be 258. So we have matching digits there. Um, if it were 147, it would have to be 147 like that. There's no problem. If it were 369, the 3 would have to go here, 69. Again, no problem. So we have two possibilities there. Um, I think we probably have two possibilities here as well. So we'll come back to those. Um, let's look at these other um, sequences. We have a given digit here. We know it's a difference of three. The only digit that can go three away from one is four. But now this one, it could be one again. These aren't in the same box or row or column. It could also be seven. So this could be one, four, seven. It could be one, four, one. Uh, here, eight goes with five. And then this could be two or eight. 9 goes with 6. Ah, I am typing error. Um, 3 also goes with 6, but the digits next to 6 could be in either order. We could have repeats like this, or we could just have 3, 6, 9, 3, 6, 9. All right, now we can resolve these. We said one possibility was 3, 6, 9. However, 6 is always going to go in the middle, and we have a 6 here now. So it can't be 369. This must be 741. Resolve by these. This also can't be 6. So this is going to have to be 258 in this order. And aside from these um, unresolved pairs, we are just left with classic today. So let's see what we can do there. Um, I see 1s. 1 is going to go there. reason one of these cells eight. Eight, so eight, four. eight goes here. Still need a two in this row. I won't have a two in that box. And then four and one resolved by this one. We need a seven in this row. It's got to go there. Five and eight resolved by the eight. This box still needs three, four, six. We have three and six in the column. And then we're going to be left with a three, six pair here. These are 
9, 5, and 6. We have 9 and 6 in the column. And then we're left with a 6, 9 here. Uh, we still need 1 in this column. There's a 1 in the box. And then these are going to be 3, 6, 9, but we have a 9 here. So this is 9, 6. 6 here. These are now 5 and 8, which are resolved. Uh, in this row, we have a 3, 6 pair, so our remaining digits are 2 and 8. And then our digits up here are 5, 7, 9. Can't resolve yet. Uh, we do have the 1 here, it's going to resolve 7. Uh, let's look at this column first. Uh, 8 in the column. And then 3, 6, 9 again, we have the 3 here. Uh, six nine paired now is resolved by that nine. Six and nine. Uh, the three six up here resolves three and six. These are one and seven. Uh, two three seven. Not resolved yet. The eight resolves two eight two and one and four are resolved. All right, this column needs three five nine. Uh, so this is 3 or 9, giving us a pair. And we need 1, 4, 7 in this row now. This must be the 7. This is the 4 and the 1. Over here, we need 2 and 7, which are resolved. Here we need a 2. Here we need 3, 9 again. And that gives us a pair. So we're left with 5, 8. This is going to be another 3 or 9. Um, so a lot of 3-9 pairs unresolved, they're going to have to be resolved up here somehow. These digits are 4, 5, and 6, so 4 here, 5, and 6 like that. Now we should be able to finish it off. Uh, 5 and 7 are resolved by the 5 down here. And then 9, 7, ah, uh, 3, 2, and now we'll finish off our 9s and 3s. So 9 there, there, and there. Three, 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 and we're done. So there you go. Very nice puzzle using these triples, um, forcing uh, these in particular. It's a little more thought going into that, um, and a nice classic at the end, as you would expect from Bill. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let us know how you did in the comments. I will see you next time.